what is up guys phoenix here and welcome to the final part of our dobby from my hero academia pixel art tutorial so it's quite the lengthy one so far uh, we finished gojo and we finished itadori already and i had to take a break from recording just because i've been having migraines recently and i haven't been able to, to look at the screen for that long but i should be back and working on some of my new survival stuff or the hardcore world and also um, the next batch of pixel arts if I feel like uploading those so let's just jump right into this one and get this one complete so we can knock this one out so first thing I want to do for this tutorial part is finish up the right ear and then we can move on to the eyes and be done from there so let's go to the right side of the face where we have all these different markings for the different um, I think they're stitches in the side of his face we should have this one all the way on the right side right here that's shaped up into kind of like his ear it's, it's it's kind of a weird shape it's like vertical it's, it's not it's part of the slant um but it should have this one single in the top left corner and then also on the right side it should have this five vertical and that five vertical on the right side is where we kind of want to be right now so let me just mark it so you can see it and we're gonna go to the top block in there and go to the right one coal and that's how we're gonna start for today from there we're gonna go up and to the right three more singles so placement block to the top or right side one two three just like that and once you have those three singles we're going to go to that final one so this one right here and i just want to put an extra block to the right side of it turning it into a two flat we're going to do something with each of these blocks first off from the left side right here we're just going to go up into the left two singles and should connect back to the rest of the hair so one two very simple and then from the right block in that two flat what we're going to do is two things first underneath it we're going to put an extra coal then above it we're going to put a placement block on top so that way we can go up into the right four vertical one two three four from that four vertical we can go to the top block and split it into the two different directions for his ear um the first thing we're going to want to do is hmm we can do one of the branches, but then we're going to have to come back and do the other branch. So I would just recommend first going to the left and we're going to up into the left eight vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then from that same placement block, we're going to go to the opposite side and go up into the right three vertical. One, two, three, just like that. And we can work with each of these. I think we're going to work with the left side first. So let me just mark the three vertical right here so we can come back to it. From that eight vertical, we're going to put a placement block on top or to the left side. So that way we can go up into the left 12 vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then from that 12 vertical, we're going to put a placement block on top and go up into the left three vertical. One, two, three. We can then backtrack from that three vertical to the 12 vertical that was right before it and find the second to last block from the top and we're going to go to the right side of that and put one coal just like this from that one coal we're going to go down into the right another single down into the right two vertical one two and then down into the right three vertical one two three and from that three vertical we can go to the middle block in it and put one coal to the right side just like that now usually i put a marker on this so that we can come back to it later but if we go back to the three vertical we marked it's going to eventually meet up with this um later so we don't have to mark this so we can fly back down to the three vertical that we marked down here and get rid of the placement blocks now and we're going to put a placement block on top and go up into the right two vertical one two up into the right three vertical again one two three and from that three vertical we're going to put a placement block on top because we're going to split into two different directions first from the left side we're going to go up into the left and i want to go up into the left three vertical one two three then from that three vertical we're going to put a placement block on top so that way we can go up into the right one single Perfect, and that connected at the diagonal. Um, from that diagonal, we can go up into the right one single. 
then we can go to the right side of that single and put an extra coal like so from that extra coal we're gonna put one below it and two on top one two we're then gonna go up and to the left three vertical one two three up and to the left seven vertical one two three four five six seven and from the top lock in that seven vertical we're gonna do two things First, we're gonna go to the right side and put an extra three coal. One, two, three, just like that. We can mark that to come back to it shortly. But then also from that top block, we're gonna put a placement block to the top or left side. So that way we can go up and to the left, nine vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Let's go back down and delete those extra ones. And from the top of that nine vertical, we're gonna put a placement block on top and go up and to the left, two vertical one two and that finishes off that spike of the hair but we still need to do his little ear piercing and the rest of the shape of his ear so we're gonna drop back down to the three flat right here that we marked and from that three flat we can go to the middle block in it and put one coal on top then from that one coal on top we can go up into the left two singles one two perfect and if you wanted to you can um, leave a marker here for later or just remember this little three segment right here is gonna be colored with burnt ear, even though his um, piercing is right below it. It's a very small section that most people would miss. It's just this three L shape is gonna be colored in with whatever color we're using for the burnt skin, which I think is gonna be like pink or magenta. Anyways, let's go back to this three flat that we had marked out. Instead of the middle block now, we're gonna to go to the final block and I wanna put a placing block underneath it. So that way we can go down into the right, two vertical with our coal, one, two, we can then go down into the left one single, down into the right one single, down into the right three vertical, one, two, three, down into the left one single, down into the right one single, down into the right two vertical, one, two, and it's gonna snake back and forth right now. We're gonna put a placement block underneath and go down into the left two vertical, one, two. Placement block underneath, and then we're gonna snake back to the right now, down into the right two vertical, one, two. And then we're just gonna connect it to the wall right here just by putting a placement block underneath and going down into the left one single. Perfect. And we seem to have had a placement block ready there waiting. So that was actually pretty good that we ended up just, you know, finishing up that little connector piece. Um, so from that single that we have that placement block on, we can actually still work with it. Usually I would just delete it, but what we can do is we can put a placement block above it. So that way we can go up into the left three flat. One, two, three. Now that you have that three flat completed, we can backtrack to that single we just came from and it should be connected to this three vertical basically. So like that. And from the bottom block in that three vertical, so this one right here, that's also connected to these two flats, uh, you wanna go to the left side of it and put one coal directly next to it like so. From that one coal, we're gonna put three more underneath it. One, two, three. And as you can see, it directly connected to this piece of the hair that we already had right here. Um, not to worry about it. All we need to do now is put one more coal to the left right there. And then two blocks underneath that. One, two. We're then gonna go down into the left three vertical. One, two, three. And then just remove that placement block real quick. <clears throat> then from there, we're gonna go down into the left four vertical. One, two, three, four. Down into the left two vertical. One, two. And then we're gonna go down into the left uh, five singles now. So placement block underneath. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, it connected to that two flat at the diagonal, so that's fine. And then from that last single, we're gonna put a placement block underneath so that way we can go down into left two flat. And then finally down into left one single. Perfect.
All right, so I believe that's it for the right ear. I'm just gonna zoom out real quick and just make sure. Yeah, that should be it for the right ear, perfect. So we can now move on to the eyes. <clears throat> so let's start on the left eye and then we'll do the right eye. So if we fly over to the left eye, we have a couple of placement block sparks marked out for us. Uh, we're just gonna run right through this thing because I don't think we need to spend too much time on it. Um, so from the spot we have marked out in the eye right here, first we're gonna finish the eyebrow by going to this two flat at the top right here. So let's remove that placement block and go up and to the right, four flat. So place and block to the top or right side. One, two, three, four. We're then gonna go up and to the right, three flat. One, two, three. Up and to the right, five flat. One, two, three, four, five. Up and to the right, four flat, two times in a row. One, two, three, four, that's one. One, two, three, four, that's two. And it should have connected at the diagonal to something we already had previously built, but don't get distracted there yet. Um, we're gonna keep track of the four flats we just created. So it was two sets of four flat. And on the left one, we're gonna go to the final block on the right side. So this one right here, whoops. And I wanna put one coal underneath it. And on the right one, we're gonna go to the final block on the right side as well and put one underneath it. And then we're gonna remove all the placement blocks from that right one. And we can remove all the placement blocks from that left one. So it's a sim the same shape. Now we're gonna continue from the left one and put a placement block underneath it and go down into the right two flat with our coal. One, two. Down into the right three flat. One, two, three. And then now we need to bring this back up. So we're gonna put a placement block to the top side and go up into the right one single. Up and to the right two vertical, one, two. And then finally, placement block on top, we're gonna go up and to the right one single. Perfect, so that's the left eye. Very simple to do. <clears throat> now if we go back to the left side, we still have two more placement block spots we can work with. Let's go to the single one now and remove that placement block. And we're gonna be putting it to the right side, so we're gonna go down into the right now, two flat, one, two down into the right four flat one two three four from that four flat we can go to the second to last block from the left side so this one right here and I want to put two placement blocks underneath it one two and then a coal underneath that and from that coal we're gonna go down into the right four flat one two three four and then up into the right one single so place some block on the end one and this is just basically some of the stitches that are gonna be inside of his eye. Uh, I wanna get some of it done before we go to the last part over there, just because we're also gonna have to do some of the circular shaped stitches. So as much detail as I get out early, it should be fine. Anyways, we're gonna backtrack now to the four flat we just went from, so this one right here, and put a placement block on the end. That way we can go down into the right five flat. One, two, three, four, five. Up and to the right four flat. One, two, three, four. And from the final block in that four flat, so this one on the right side, we can put two placement blocks underneath. One, two, and then one coal below that. And we can do something similar to what we did over here. From that one coal, we're gonna put two more to the right. One, two, just so, like so. And then we're gonna put a placement block on the end so that way we can go up and to the right three flat. One, two, three. And then up into the right two flat two times in a row. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. Perfect. Now we can do a bit of backtracking to that four flat that we bridged off of and continue working with that. So let's put our placement block to the top or right side and go up into the right three flat three times in a row. One, two, three, that's one. One, two, three, that's two. One, two, three, that's three. And we can go back now and delete all these extra dirt blocks. And then to connect to the wall, we're just gonna go up and to the right three singles. One, two, three. Perfect. So now the left eye is looking pretty good. All we have to do is the little um, stitches and patchwork that's below it. And the way we're gonna do that is by going over to the left side where we have this five vertical marked out. <clears throat> 
we can easily go to that five vertical we have marked out and start building the patchwork base. So let's go there, remove the placement blocks now. And from the bottom block in that, we're gonna go and put a placement block underneath. So that way we can go down into the right two vertical, one, two. And I suggest grabbing the light gray concrete as well, just so that way if you wanna color in some of that uh, clockwork face or the, the stitches, you can do that as we get them done. So from that two vertical, we're gonna put a placement block, I mean, sorry, a coal to the right of the top block, like so. From that block to the right we added, we can put a placement block underneath it, so that way we can go down into the right two vertical, one, two, then a placement block underneath that, so that way we can go down into the left two singles, one, two. And from those two singles now, from the left one, we can put a placement block to the left side and go up into the left two vertical from it, one, two, which completes this stitch. We can color that in with light gray concrete, like so. But from the right block in that two singles, so this one right here, we can put a placement block underneath it, so that way we can go down into the right two vertical and continue. From that two vertical, we're gonna go down into the right two vertical again. One, two. And then we're gonna kind of split in two directions again because there's a lot of this uh, stitches being built. So from the bottom block in the two vertical, we're gonna put a placement block underneath it and go down into the left two vertical. One, two. And then from there, we're gonna go down into the right two flat. One, two. And from the right block in that two flat, we're gonna just put one coal on top like so then we can backtrack to the top block into two vertical and it's this set of two vertical not the one that's connected to the stitching which is zoom out so you can see uh yeah it's, it's kind of in between two sets of two but from this top block now we're going to put a placement block to the right side so that way we can go up into the right three flat one two three <clears throat> and then from the right block in that three flat we're going to put two coal underneath it one two we can then close this stitch by just going down into left one single, down into the right one single. And before we continue from there, let's just color this one in real quick. So it only takes like a few seconds. So that's the only reason I'm doing them. So that's that stitch now. And then from that single, we can go down into the right four flat. So place some block underneath and let's, whoops, place some block and let's go down into the right four flat. One, two, three, four. From that four flat, we can put a placement block to the end and do two things. First, above that placement block, we're gonna put two coal going straight up, one, two. Then below that placement block, we're gonna put two, um, place, sorry, two coal going straight down, one, two, just like that. From the two below, if we go to the bottom block right here, we can add an extra coal to the right side. And then from the two above, we can put a placement block above it and go up and to the right one single, like so. Now before we continue working with this single, we're gonna detour and do another one of these little stitch things right here. We're gonna put a placement block above this single and then a coal above that. And then from that coal, we're gonna put three more coal to the left. One, two, three, just like that. Now from each end of this four flat right here, we're gonna go up into the left one single on the left side and up into the right one single on the right side. So just put a placement block at the end and we're gonna go one and then go to the opposite side, one. Very easy. It's the exact same shape as the one that's right next to it. All right, now we can backtrack to that single right here that we built off of and put a placement block underneath it. So that way we can go down into the right four vertical, one, two, three, four. And that should have closed out that stitch right there. So you can color it in now with the light gray concrete. And then from that four flat we just built, if we go to the second to last block from the bottom, we can then add an extra five coal to the right side. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God, there's so much stuff happening outside my house. Sorry if you guys hear a lot of background noise. Sometimes in editing, I realize you guys can't hear it, but I'm still paranoid. Anyways, from the five flat, we're gonna then put a placement block at the end and go up into the right three vertical. One, two, three. We're then gonna go up into the right one single, down into the right one single, 
down into the right two flat one two <clears throat> and then from that two flat we're going to use that to finish covering this stitch so from the left block into two flat we're going to put another three coal below it one two three we're then going to go and put a placement block underneath so we can go down into left one single and then we need to bring it back up so placement block to the left or top side whoops oh my god i'm terrible left or top side there we go and we can go up into the left two vertical one two now you can color that one in as well and we should have four stitches complete so it's looking pretty good i think there's only five on this side of the face let me just double check yeah there's only five of them all right so on the right side now where we have this two flat right here we can go to the right block in it and go up into the right three singles one two three like so except from th that third one we're going to switch it up and we're actually going to change it by putting one block to the top and one block to the right of it so it becomes this l shape from that block to the right we're going to put a placement block after it so we can go down into the right two flat one two up into the right one single and then we need to bring it back in to close the stitch out so we're going to put a placement block to the top side and go up into the left two singles one two from that second single we're going to put a placement block on top of it like so and from that placement block i want to put one coal to the right and two to the left one two like so from that one coal to the right we're going to close the shape out by just adding another one going up into the right one single like so you can see it just closes the gap right there which is fine and then from the two to the the, the two flat to the left we just placed uh we're gonna put a placement block to the left of it and from that placement block we're gonna put one coal below it to close that shape out and then we're gonna put one um, coal above it to start the last um, set of stitches before we work with this one above we place let's color this in so just a little s shape right here or a little staircase shape and then we can go to that one above right here that we were working with so let me just zoom out so you can see where we're at all right from that marked block all we're going to do is we're first going to put an extra one to the left side of it like so then from this right block we're going to go up into the right one single and we're done with that from the left block we're going to go down into the left two flat and then down to left three flat one two three and that's it for the left eye we can now move on to the right eye and then we can do the nose and stuff and we'll be done after that so now flying over to the right eye we should have only one placement block thing marked out over here i think and it's basically on this l-shaped spot right here yeah it's like a backwards l-shape um not as much detail as i had on the left eye waiting for me but we'll work with it from here so locate this spot if you can let me just zoom out so you can see it's a little bit closer to that final stitch if we just go up into the left there's a spike of the hair right here and then that l shape is on the two vertical that's by itself hopefully you're able to locate that and let's just jump right into it so from that left block we're going to put a placement block to the left or bottom side so that way we can go down into left one single down to left two flat two times in a row one two that's one one two that's two down into left three flat one two three down into left 13 flat so place and block at the end one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and from that 13 flat is there anything that i should be worried about no it looks like all the other eye segments i can do later so we're gonna put a placement block at the end right there and go up into the left two flat one two up into the left one single and that single is going to split into multiple directions um first thing we can do is we can put a placement block underneath that single and go down into the left five vertical one two three four five and then mark that to come back to later second thing we can do from that single is we can put a placement block above it and go up into the right two vertical one two just like that from that two vertical if we put a place i mean not a placement block sorry if we go directly to the top block right here we can put an extra two coal to the left one two 
like so and then we can put a placement block on top of that top block so that way we can go up into the right four flat one two three four up into the right three flat two times in a row one two three that's one placement block to the top or right side one two three that's two and then let's delete these extra spots then we're going to go up into the right five flat one two three four five Going to the end of that five flat, if we find the second to last block, we can put one coal below it, like so. And then from the last block, we can put a placement block to the ending, so we can go up and to the right, four flat, one, two, three, four. From that four flat, we can go to the second to last block and put two coal underneath it, one, two, just like that. And then we can go to the final block in that four flat and just go up and to the right, two flat. So place some block to the top or right side, one, two. So you can see it connected to the wall of his hair, so that's fine. And all we have to do now is a bit of backtracking to complete the eye, which is why we have these two vertical thing going on right here. So if we go right back here to the two vertical we just placed, we can then put a place and block underneath or to the left side and go down into the left two singles, one, two. Down into the left four flat, one two three four and then connecting it back to the major build we're just going to go up into the left two singles one two perfect so that's it for the right eye or at least the inner part of the right eye from here now we can go to the left side of it where we had the five vertical we marked off and continue doing the patchwork part of it so from that five vertical if we go to the second to last block from the top we can put one coal to the left, like so. Then if we put a placement block below the bottom block, we can continue from there and go down into the right one single. Then from that single, we can put a placement block to the right and underside of it. And from the placement block underneath it, we're going to use that to go down into the left one single, like so. And from the placement block to the right of it, we're going to put one coal on top, one coal to the right, and three below it. One, two, three. Perfect. Now that you have that three below going, we can go to the bottom block in it and put an extra two coal to the left side. One, two. And then go up into the left one single to close the shape out, like so. And then you can color that in with the light gray concrete. If you wanted to it's only four blocks we can then go to this bottom right corner right here in this backwards l shape and put a placement block underneath it so that way we can go down into the right two singles one two from the second single we're going to put an extra coal to the right side and then from that extra coal to the right we're going to put three more underneath it one two three Now we can either work with the top block or the bottom block in this extension we created. From the bottom block, we're just going to put an extra coal to the right side. But from the top block, we're going to go and put a placement block above it. So that way we can go up into the right three flat. One, two, three. Then from that three flat, if we go to the final block on it, we can put one coal below it. And then we can go down into the left two vertical. One, two which closes out that stitch. You can now color it in with the light gray concrete. Before we move on from there, we're going to go back up to the top part right here in the stitch where we have this three flat. And what I want you to do is go to the final block in the three flat. So this one right here on the right side, and we're going to put a placement block above it, then a coal above that. And from that coal, we're going to put an extra one to the left and three more to the right. One, two, three, just like that. And then we're going to put a placement block to the end so that way we can go down into the right three flat one two three from the end of the three flat we're going to put a placement block going two above this end block so one two and then a coal on top of that and then from that coal we're going to put six more to the left one two three four five six placement block and then up into the left three flat. One, two, 
three. Looking good. All right, so that's two of the four lines that we're gonna have on his face or on his right eye. So we can go back down to the stitch we just completed and this two vertical with coal on the right side that we have right here, we're actually gonna go to the bottom block in it and put an extra coal to the right side, like so. Then from that extra coal, we're gonna put a placement block underneath or to the right so we can go down and to the right, five flat. One, two, three, four, five. After that five flat, we're gonna put a sixth piece of coal after it. But the reason it's separate is because we're gonna put one below it and two on top. One, two, creates its own shape. Now that we have this four vertical, from the bottom, we're gonna go down into the right one single. And from the top, we're gonna go up into the right one single. It's gonna create a very slender stitch by just going now from this top block down into the right four vertical. One, two, three, four. And it kind of just closes itself in so you can color this in with light gray concrete now. And now that's three out of the five done. So from this four vertical on the right side now, if we go to the second to last block from the bottom, we can put an extra two coal to the right. One, two. We can then go up into the right three flat. One, two, three. Up into the right two flat. One, two. And then from that two flat, we can go to the right block and put one coal on top and one coal below it. From that one coal on top, we can go up into the left two vertical. So place the block on top. One, two. We can then go up into the right one single. Then we're gonna bring it back down. So place the block underneath. We can go down into the right one single. Down into the right three vertical. One, two, three. And from the bottom block in that three vertical, all we're going to do is put a placement block underneath it so we can go down into the left one single. Which closes out this stitch so we can now switch over to our light gray concrete and fill this one in as well. We're almost done. Now going back to that three vertical, instead of the bottom block now, we're gonna go to the top block and put a placement block above it. So that way we can go up into the right two flat one, two, up into the right two vertical, one, two, up into the right one single. And from that single, we're gonna put a placement block above it and below it. From the placement block above, we're just gonna use that to go up into the left two vertical, one, two, just like that. And you can see it connected at the diagonal to the rest of the hair. And then from the top block in that two vertical, we're gonna put two placement blocks to the left side, like so. And then we're gonna put two coal after that, one, two. From that two coal, we're gonna go to the right block first and go up into the right one single. Then we're gonna go to the left block and put a placement block to the left so we can go down into the left two flat, one, two. From that two flat, if we go to the left block in it, we can put two coal on top, sorry, two placement blocks on top, one, two, and then a coal on top of that. So we have this, pause if you need to. From that singular floating coal, we're gonna put one to the left. Then we're gonna put a placement block to the right side so we can go up into the right two flat, one, two, and then up into the right one single. All right, so we're pretty much done with the right eye. All we have to do now is if you remember, on that one single, we put a placement block to the top and the bottom. We still haven't worked with the bottom one yet. All we're gonna do from this bottom placement block now is go down into the right two flat from it. One, two, like so. And from the right block in this two flat, we're just gonna put two coal on top, one, two, and then close the shape out by just going up into the left one single. Perfect, and you can color this in now as well. So you are pretty much done. All we have to do is the nose, which oddly enough, I forgot to do already. So we're just gonna do that right now. And the way you're gonna do the nose is let's go to the center part of his hair. And on the center part of his hair, you can see there's this singular piece of coal just minding his own business. 
So the center part is his right side, not the one that's close to his left eye. It's this right one that's just floating by itself, and there's a single at the bottom just chilling. So from that single, we're going to put a placement block underneath it and go down into the left seven vertical from that placement block. So another one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can see we're connected at the diagonal to that original placement block. You can remove it now. From that seven vertical, we're going to go down into the right five vertical two times in a row. One, two, three, four, five. That's one. One, two, three, four, five. That's two. And now that you have that two sets of five vertical, you can go to this bottom one. And if we locate the middle block in that five vertical, we can put three placement blocks at the left side. One, two, three. And then three coal after that. One, two, three. Just like that. From those three coal, we can go to the middle block and put one on top and one below it, like so. We can then go to the one below it and put three placement blocks going below it. One, whoops, one, two, three, like so. And then one coal below that. From that one coal below, we're going to put two more to the left of it. One, two, just like that. And then we're going to locate the middle block and put one above it and one below. Then from this block on the right side, so this one right here and the three flat, we can put two placement blocks to the right and then a coal after that. And from that coal, we're going to put two more on top, one, two. Then we want to locate the middle block and put one to the left and one to the right. So those are the three different um, marks in his nose. I guess they're um, piercings. Piercings is the word. Now from this third piercing we just built, if we go to the right block, this one right here, we can go underneath it and put three placement blocks going straight down. One, two, three, just like that. And then a coal. From that coal, we can put one to the right. We can then go down into the right one single. And then from that single, we can backtrack to the two flat right here and go to the right block in the two flat, switch over to your placement blocks. And we're going to be putting seven placement blocks to the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one coal. Final steps right here from this coal, we're going to put a placement block to the top or right side and go up into the right two vertical. One, two. And then up into the right two singles. One, two. Perfect. So you are officially complete with the pixel art now. Let me give it a quick save. We're going to jump into the finished build and go over the colors and stuff. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, congratulations on making it this far. I do know this was quite the build and it was quite difficult to do. But I know you guys can do it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in a quick jump cut. All right, and we're back with the finished um, build, as you can see on the right-hand camera screen. If you're an expert, you can probably just do it yourself. I'm going to go over the colors anyways. So the inventory is pretty simple. All you're going to need is gray concrete, purple terracotta, light gray concrete, white concrete, light blue concrete, birch planks, and black concrete. So um, from the start, what you probably want to do is the jacket. You can see the left fold on both sides are going to be black. So we can go to the left and the right side and just color it in black with those folds. And then if you switch over to your gray concrete, you can color in the majority of the jacket with that gray concrete. And that should cover up all of that surface area. I don't think you need gray for anything else. So once you're done with that part of the jacket, you can actually retire that color. Um, then we switch over to your purple terracotta. And if you didn't do the shading on the neck when I told you to, uh, you'll do the lower half of the neck is going to be purple terracotta. Then the portion that we edged out with the um, black concrete is going to be colored black concrete up until we hit the coal then the rest of the neck above that is going to be purple terracotta um, I'm pretty sure we went over the chin and all the stitches with the light gray concrete but just kind of pause and make sure yours are the, the correct color and here's where it can get a little bit tricky there are some of these triangle shapes for his hair that you can see behind his ear and stuff so I would just make sure you, um, you would do the purple terracotta first and just color in these little spots that need to be colored in. So like this spot right here, that's right below the stitch. It's going to be purple separated by a coal. Then you start the ear 
and the ear is gonna have this purple terracotta segment this one single is gonna be purple terracotta uh, you have this other branch above it and then you have these little folds and then also at the top right above the piercing there's this little section for his ear so make sure you color that purple same thing on the right side there's little patches that you might miss going into the ear from the last piece of um, piercing or stitching you can see there's this triangle spot right here that's going to be purple terracotta then you have the majority of the ear purple purple and then once you go above the stitching just color in this l shape these three blocks with purple as well very simple to do while you're coloring that in you might as well want to jump into the eyes as well and everything below the pupil and like above the stitching is going to be purple terracotta so you can color that all in same thing on the right side everything above the stitching but below the main eye so all purple terracotta and then you can kind of retire that color from there we should have already colored this all in with light gray concrete so i wouldn't worry about that right now uh, the only thing that I think we didn't color together with the light gray concrete were the piercings. So you can color the piercing on the right ear. You can see this little shape right here. It's a block of just light gray concrete. And then there's just one single spot right here. Same on the left side. This is a big chunk of just light gray concrete, which I think I already colored with you guys. Um, big chunk right here. And then separated by here. And then we have this little five spot right here that's going to be light gray as well. So make sure you just color that. Um, I wouldn't do the hair until all of this stuff is colored in because the hair is just all black There's no shading. So it's hard to kind of distinguish things um, From there you can switch over to your birch planks and color the rest of the face above the patchwork and above his eyebrows And it's like eyeballs all gonna be birch planks. Don't forget this little triangle spot right here uh, Same thing on the right side. All of this is gonna be birch planks We have these little triangles above the eyelashes and eyebrows that are all gonna be birch as well then you can move into the eyes, white concrete right for here, light blue concrete for the pupil, same on the opposite side, white concrete for the eye, light blue for the pupil. And then you'd move into the hair with your black black concrete and just color everything else, all right? No shading in this one, Dobby's hair is just purely black. So just color everything with black concrete. It takes quite a bit of time, but it's worth it. Also, don't make, make sure you don't miss these little triangles of hair that are below his left ear. So we have one, two, three triangles of hair. And on the right side, we have a couple triangles as well. Just make sure you don't miss those. And that's it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the build. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more pixel art content. This is Phoenix, and as always, I'll see you guys later.